uh, from uh, New Delhi. I work in Greater Kailash 1 and I am working in Noida and Jampura Extension. <coughs> I am a dermatologist and a cosmetologist working for the last 20, more than 20 years. Last seven years have been exclusively dedicated to dermatology and cosmetology. So today I am here uh, on this platform to share uh, my experience, knowledge, and take any questions from the audience regarding their skin care in monsoon. Sibamed has been very nice to offer this platform today for all its followers, so they can they are free to ask questions from me, and I'll try my best to give you good uh, advice, suggestions, and treatment for various elements that come that you skin elements that you come across in monsoon. Monsoon is a good season, but usually we have a lot of skin problems as well in this season. So, uh, so I would like to know any questions we have. Monsoon, in monsoon season we have mostly fungal infections because people tend to wear damp clothes and the sweating is there. So if your immunity is come less and uh, people tend to have a fungal infection. The main aim to prevent fungal infection is to keep your body dry, keep it clean and try to dry your clothes and not to wear tight clothes, especially jeans at night sometimes called gene syndrome because wearing jeans always I've seen it in my experience a lot of people who sleep in jeans they have more of groin fungal uh, in the groins so and trunkal acne as well so I would like to suggest and uh, if the fungal infection is less we will do we will just give local creams and uh, Oral, uh, oral antifungals have to be given later on if the fungus, uh, if the skin is not treated. So, <clears throat> uh, I think, uh, Afrin, uh, you have a question. What's good? Sibamet body wash or soap? I think both are good. Both are good. Uh, Sivamat body wash I have seen uh, helpful in eczema as well. So I would suggest you because it's milder and its spreadability is more to go in for Sivamat body wash. Someone has asked me, my babies, uh, my three months old baby has very dry skin, what she should do for that. Uh, the dry skin, usually children have a little bit of dry skin that can be because of seborrheic dermatitis. Uh, she has just three months old baby, so we have to, uh, we have to, spe we have to check for the seborrheic dermatitis. If there is any kind of seborrheic dermatitis, we have to see the dryness. It is known as cradle cap. We have to see dryness in the scalp. We have to see the dryness behind the ear, ears. We can apply some nice uh, moisturizing oil, Vaseline. And there are some baby oils like uh, Sivamed has some good moisturizing creams. And baby wash, gentle baby wash should be used. And always try to keep your baby dry and a good moisturizing cream for your baby. I think that should help it. Uh, you have uh, some Suleka, you have asked a question. My four months uh, daughter has some patches on her head. What should I apply? She ha have some rashes kind of things. Uh, dear Suleka, I would love to have some pictures of the patches because patches can be many reasons can be. There can be fungal growth of patches, it can be seborrheic dermatitis, it can be dryness or it could be uh, other things as well. And, uh, fungal is known as the ringworm. So we have to give different application uh, for every every other uh, point. Uh, Rita, you have asked uh, how can I avoid skin problems. 
The best way to avoid skin problem is to keep your skin clean, drink plant, eat good food. Uh, nutritious food, nutritious diet that has all the multivitamins, vitamins, a balanced diet is very important and uh, drink lots of water. Uh, rest is also important and keep your, use a good face wash, a good sunscreen and a good moisturizer. Uh, uh, I would prefer, uh, for myself, I myself prefer a good brand like Sivamed for sunscreen, it has got good moisturizer as well. Uh, Manisha, I have a question from you. Manisha, go. Go on. My six months old daughter has been diagnosed with eczema, but it is so bad, I'm not sure that's what so sometimes it looks like ulcers and she constantly scratches it. Poor thing. Always she has to scratch her skin. Otherwise, my babe, um, otherwise nappy changes consists of scratching. And see your question fully. Otherwise, nappy changes consist of her scratching her legs, chest, or arm. If we don't stop her quickly enough, she draws blood with her scratching. Does it sound like eczema or it should be something else? Mostly six months old child, so uh, it is mostly uh, atopic dermatitis. It can be atopic dermatitis. Which, uh, which uh, does your child drink milk? Uh, I think you should stop giving her milk, uh, cow's milk. If she or she is giving her cows, you stop it and moisturize her body. Use a very mild body uh, wash like Sibamed, a good moisturizing lotion. And we can use a cutie soft uh, steroid at night and try to keep your baby's nails uh, short. And we can give a small uh, amount of practin, uh, 1.5 ml of practin uh, solution syrup to make her sleep well and she will not scratch. Afreen, I have a question from you. I apply Sibamed cream and lotion after bath for my baby but I think it becomes greasy and I find skin dark. So what is best time to apply? Uh, and I can use baby wash to clean face. Yes, uh, Sibamed, uh, in uh, monsoon you should try to use Sibamed lotion rather than cream because cream has a base has a greasy base so try to use lotion because it's, because it absorbs well for lotion i would always suggest you to use it soon after uh, to take a bath uh, the skin is still moist and you can apply the lo lotion and then moisture locks in the moisturizer uh, and the skin looks dark skin looks dark maybe because of the greasiness and uh, if your skin is little bit of dark we need to uh, usually sunscreen because of course uh, those uh, it has got those sun, uh, zinc and all that makes uh, your skin look darker but uh, otherwise I don't think there is any reason for you to your skin to look dark after applying sebamed cream or lotion. Uh, sunscreen is safe. Uh, Jyoti, you have a question, is sunscreen safe? I would like to know how old is your baby? Up to one year, I don't think we need to apply sunscreen to the baby, it doesn't go out of two years. So no need to apply sunscreen because basically children also need vitamin D. So I don't think it's a good idea to apply sunscreen so early. And my baby's, uh, one, one of my questions are coming across is my baby's skin is very sensitive. She gets uh, red patches on the back of her head. I use her to wash her head after Mandan. Please suggest, is it okay? Why are you using curd? To wash your head. How old is that curd? Maybe she's getting infection because of the curd. You can use a smile uh, shampoo to wash her head, clean it up, keep it dry. Uh, if she has got uh, patches which is red, we can apply a mild steroid like QT Soft or Nomi Soft cream twice a day for a week and then see how things are there. Monsoon tips for uh, adults, I would like to suggest, uh, many uh, people have asked me this question, monsoon tips, please, please, please keep your skin dry, keep your skin dry and uh, use, drink plenty of water, use a good sunscreen, a good face wash, that's it and uh, try not to use uh, wet clothes, use loose uh, cotton clothes which breathable. Avoid polysters, 
avoid synthetic clothes in monsoon because they will uh, create uh, rashes they will create because the skin cannot breathe so it's better to use linen cotton loose clothes light colors and uh, try to avoid places where you sweat a lot uh, ashvika patil uh, you have a question my niece uh, scott stump always looked uncomfortable is there anything i should reconnected uh my to prevent discomfort apparently there is no feeling but the child uh, but do my niece has got stump always looked uncomfortable is there anything i should do when my baby is born to prevent discomfort apparently there is no feeling but they do catch on nappies i can get you ashvika but what you are trying to tell me uh, got stump yes uh, uncomfortable it it dries up it will go away in 7 to 8 months then this you are talking about nappy rash uh, nappies nappy rash you can prevent by applying a good moisturizer uh, after the uh, and a zinc oxide lotion uh, ganesh hi ganesh good afternoon what is eczema eczema is known as its other name is dermatitis there are lot of eczemas different types of eczema eczema can be from the childhood it's known as atopic dermatitis and it can be later like contact dermatitis uh, allergic contact dermatitis there are different types of eczema uh, contact dermatitis when we keep on like you wash clothes with soap and something and then your hand starts having rash and that is allergic contact dermatitis like with nickel or some leather goods uh, semi leather goods because natural leather doesn't cause rash these kind of things can happen hello doctor my this one patient was asking me hello doctor my baby is 6 months old actually he is fair he is fair uh, but exposed areas like hands are black what's the remedy for tan tan uh, remedy is just 6 months old baby uh, the skin will keep on changing its tone as he grows older don't don't bother this time just moisturize the skin keep the baby healthy 6 months old child hand is dark doesn't matter uh, may, but you have to see if there is some kind of rash or uh, that has developed that and we have to get for it i have one question one more question can i use baby lotion or baby cream which product is safe uh, for four months because it's summer again the same question is it a baby lotion or baby cream i think baby lotion will be better in summer because it's less greasy there's one question i am having hello doctor which oil is good in rainy season for toddlers to massage to avoid dryness uh, in rainy season we can use coconut pure coconut oil virgin coconut oil even oil oil is very good it's non uh, greasy non it absorbs very fast try to avoid mustard oil and other kind of of oil which are sticky use olive oil or extra virgin coconut oil uh, there's another question i have to my city and half year months the skin has become quite dry for the past 3 weeks particularly on the sides of the tummy so the uh, nappy rash whenever he wears tapper it's very difficult for us to go out please suggest what should be done uh, see my dear this is something uh, nappy rash does not develop unless you don't continuously change his nappies only wet skin causes nappy rash you have to use you have to keep the baby open sometimes and then the nappy rash use a good good dose steroid right? like momit momi soft or qt soft with a zinc oxide cream i think sibamed has an anti dapper rash cream a zinc oxide cream uh, there is a zinc oxide cream which can be used three times a day and then keep the baby always dry as soon as the don't try to overload the nappy whenever the baby wets the nappy after two night you can keep day you should try to keep it as open and try to change make the baby uh, used to uh, potty training is very important after 6 months yeah, we have last question just the last uh, question 
there are some here. What's the best way to remove hairs from baby's forehead without rubbing too much? This is the question. Can I know the age of the baby? Because uh, when a baby is very small, lingula hair is there. Uh, that is normal. Every child has small hair. That is not to be worried. Which goes as the child grows older, it goes away. If mo if it persists after two years, then we have to think of something. Don't worry. This is uh, baby hair, which goes with age. You okay. don't have to worry. Ika has asked. I notice rashes on my one month old birth palms probably because of diaper. What is the solution? Solution is just keep the baby dry. Use a um, metasone cream which has or myopi cream, myopi cream is antibiotic cream once a day for seven days, a steroid cream in the night and keep the baby dry. Use a dusting powder containing uh, uh, ketoconazole or antifungal that will help. Okay. Any other questions? My four months, one person has asked me, my four months old baby is having thick patches on the scalp. She has good hair, what may be the issue? Thick patches must the scalp with seborrheic dermatitis. Just use a good oil, olive oil, castor oil, apply it with a little bit of steroid. The patches will come out. As she grows old, she will grow out of the patches. Another question from me. Hello, my baby has completed eight and a half months. Due to climate, he is having dry skin. We have already used sebamide cream and lotion. My husband has a bad weather, wrong use of this cream and lotion will hamper. Screen. Absolutely not. He, Sibamed, uh, the products of Sibamed are well tested on the skin. I think there is no, not going to be any issues with the continuous use of moisturizer. Uh, I try to give a baby an oil massage once or twice a week. Keep her, or her, uh, keep her in the sun. This will give her vitamin D and make her uh, bone stronger as well. Uh, if there is uh, too much rash, we can give Practin syrup uh, about uh, 1.5 ml at night. Which, which will uh, decrease her itching. Okay. And there's one more thing. How humidity in weather comes uh, Humidity has got du dual role. Humidity in the, uh, has got dual role. Like humidity is good for the skin because it, mo it keeps the moisture, skin moist. Your skin does not become dry. You have to use less of moisturizing lotions. Your skin does not become dry. Your lips don't chap and tick like in winter. But it has got the other side of it. The humidity, it causes heat rashes. Humidity, we get fungal infections. Skin loses its um, uh, the barriers becomes weaker. So more chances of getting fungal infection. So chances of getting fungal infection increase in humidity because of other tight clothing, uh, less air, um, uh, the, uh, the sweating. Uh, uh, Jyoti Gujija, how do I treat dry skin? Dry skin uh, can be, you have to know the reason of the dry skin. Uh, if you have constantly, for adults, I would suggest to take Solomon Omega tablets. Uh, you, it, it internally, it will increase the uh, oiliness of the skin. It will increase the keratinization uh, of the skin. It will in, uh, cause the skin to be more supple. And uh, we have to check vitamin D3 levels. Usually, vitamin D3 level decrease also causes dry skin. So if you have vitamin D, you can take D3 tablets once a week for six weeks and uh, always apply a good moisturizing lotion. So that's it. Any and apply good moisturizer. Okay, so like her. Okay, you answer this. And eczema? I'd get the okay. eczema answer. Moisturizing baby in monsoon, does it keep safe in humid places? Moisturizing, if the baby's skin is dry, moisturize it. Otherwise, baby itself has its moisturizing. Unless the baby's skin is dry, don't need to moisturize it. Why are you moisturizing? Give, just use a gentle baby wash. But baby's skin has got innate ability to keep itself uh, soft and supple. Second last, thumbs again. My thumb sucking has caused some dry skin on my three years old. Would I like to, if there is any way to stop it? Thumb sucking is a problem. This is a psychosomatic problem. We have to go to, you have to see the reason behind. Maybe he needs more attention because thumb sucking uh, uh, for the children, it's a tantrum way of showing they need more of attention. We can, you can tie his, put some, um, like uh, some lotion 
on the hand that he doesn't like many people recommend putting a chili powder or something in the hand, in the thumb so that, that will prevent him sucking and the best way is to gently always take off his thumb and tell him this is a bad habit it needs a psychosomatic approach uh, hair care for hair care i would recommend in the monsoons always to keep your hair uh, uh, clean wash it regularly otherwise chances of seborrheic dermatitis increases and dandruff also increases the skin becomes more oily so you need more frequent head wash and use it with a gentle shampoo so many gentle shampoos are uh, available in the market use one which suits you which doesn't got uh, itchy sebum and hair also normal hair shampoo you can use it after getting wet in the rain you can uh, just uh, enjoy the rain and then we can uh, i'm not saying don't get wet in the rain get wet in the rain but after coming to home just dry yourself well dry yourself well take a bath with the so that your skin becomes dry and we are dry so i'm not saying don't enjoy in the rain enjoy in the rain but safe how does my uh, ganesh gujiti how did my brother get, baby get ringworm what does we do about babies ringworm infection is known as fungal uh, tinea infection fungal infection just to uh, lulicunazole cream on the baby at night use it for 7 to 10 days i think that's going to be fine Uh, second question prickly heat anything uh, prickly heat rash it is because of the sweat glands uh, we our sweat glands uh, decrease the sweating and uh, we get that kind of rash we can a lot of cooling uh, powders available in the market sebum and also has a good powder uh, which can we can use the prickly heat rash mostly prickly heat that moisturize your skin on drying soap moisturize your skin and then use a the powder Um, uh, uh, all soot like a camphor uh, cooling lotion can be used to decrease the prickly rash facial skin somebody has asked me uh, Rita, Rita is asking me: Is eczema can result uh, in fever? Uh, yeah. Eczema can result in fever. No, as such, eczema doesn't cause fever, but there can be underlying cause for the fever. Why the fever is there? Uh, facial skin care: Keep your skin clean. Wash your skin frequently. Drink plenty of water. It's the best, best antioxidant. Use. Uh, you can use uh, some. Uh, moisturizing lotions don't use cream a white cream and a good sunscreen i think that should take care of it keep your hair offering what's good sebum and body wash or soap i have already answered oh, sure. again uh, the body wash or soap uh, depends soap some people like like to get that leather so uh, soap is good but for gentle wash in monsoon i would body suggestions for for you know seasonal what decreases the immunity so try to take lot of fruits and vegetables uh, the seasonal fruits drops of water drink juices fresh juices keep your body clean uh, use a dusting powder prickly heat powder yeah, wash your head frequently keep your uh, underarms groins clean use uh, cotton clothes avoid synthetic garments advice krishna from hyderabad mm. I have six or so she has rashes on her legs and mosquito bites which I said because of which there have been a lot of black spots on her face how do I get rid of it doing you see the black spots 
post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which can be we can use some lightening cream like a radiant uh, light cream of purpose is good. You can apply it for a month on the spots at night, and these light creams will definitely go away. And keep the skin moisturized and use the sunscreen during the day. Her, his daughter is six years old. Yes, I told the dance. Okay. Okay. Anything else which you feel uh, apart from food, um, exercise? Yes, exercise. We, uh, the monsoon does not mean we should not exercise. We should go for long walks. We should be people so much they can go for walks. Gymming is allowed. Uh, you can go for gym, but please, please, soon after coming from gym, please remove your clo uh, clo uh, sweaty clothes and wear cool and loose clothes. Bathing, yes, you can take bath two or three times a day. It's not that I will not forbid somebody is asking me, can we bath two or three? Does it affect our skin? As long as you don't use a non drying soap, a body, good body wash, I don't think uh, taking, uh, but uh, our skin also has got a layer, so not to wash too frequently because there are some good things also in the uh, superficial layer. So, two, two times a bath is okay, but too much frequent bathing will dry your skin and decrease the uh, skin barrier. That should do it for the class. Yeah, just one more question. Um, do we have to take care differently for babies and for adults? Basically, the skin, baby and skin, baby skin is different and the adult skin is different. Baby won't, baby will sweat much, but they don't need a moisturizing lotion because uh, in, innate they have a good. Uh, I would recommend getting a moisturizer, moisturizing your skin as well if it is dry. For children also we need to keep them dry, especially children are more prone to diaper rash during monsoons. So we have to take prevent. So prevention by zinc oxide cream, anti good diaper, anti diaper rash cream at night, so that it cause and makes another layer a barrier against the wetness. So at night time always use a zinc cream which contains good amount of zinc which will prevent rash of your baby. And during daytime try to keep the baby. Uh, in loose clothes. It's better as soon as you try to change baby into uh, potty ha habits are changed and in the, uh, try to in decrease the dependency on ready-made diapers which you throw off and increase on cotton clothes and all, like the old time diapers which becomes wet and we can quickly wash them out and if you use cloth diapers always try them, wash them in a good empty with a good antiseptic lotion like Detol, Savlon and then dry them in the sun. Okay. Uh, second last question from Jyoti. Uh, can I, can my baby have a sponge bath? Mild soap bath. Yes, definitely you can have a sponge bath. That's very nice. In mild water, you can put Siva mat body wash in that and clean your baby. And the last cleaning can be just with water and then dry your skin, baby skin. Okay, nice last skin. question. At what stage? At what stage is it okay to start using mild soaps rather than plain water for cleaning? Uh, mild water, I think it's uh, mild water will not clean your skin so properly. But if you are taking frequent baths, then I would recommend not to use soap uh, on your body. Just to use your soaps underarms and in the groin area. Avoid using soap frequently. If you take bath twice a day, only once you should use soap for whole of your body. You don't keep on using soap. It dries your skin. Last question. Am I supposed to use oil for oil? You can use baby oil for massage. There are a lot of baby oils available. Or even if you don't, if you don't want to use baby, use coconut oil to massage your baby, and uh, keep uh, her or him in early morning sun, 10-20 minutes. Vitamin D3 is given. That's healthy for the baby. You should always give oil massage. Okay. You can just summarize a bit. Like so, this so, is so, so, so this is uh, what I told you about all the things about monsoon. In short, I am going to tell you that uh, diaper rashes have to be prevented. Uh, number one enemy in the monsoon is the diaper rash for babies and for the adults it's ringworm and dry skin. 
dry skin has to be um, uh, prevented by use of good uh, body wash, uh, mild body wash and good uh, moisturizing lotion. While for uh, babies, we should try to keep them dry. Diaper rash should not be prevented by using a good body wash, powder and uh, um, anti-fungal uh, powder or a good uh, anti-diaper rash cream. Anything for here? Uh, for here, I would recommend uh, if the baby's hair is dry, use oil uh, and a good wash. Keep the baby's scalp clean. And if the big patches are there, like someone had asked me, just use uh, oil to remove the patches gently. Thank you. And thank you, thank you for listening to me and thank you for all the questions. Thank you. Have a good day.